Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Let's see what messages come through for you, Aries. What's what is this week bringing for you? Reverse the rules if needed. Switch the cases. Check for your other placements. Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Right, Aries. Let's see what messages come through for you. Okay, I, I got this one. Justice. Wow, truth. Aries, so um, can be dealing with Libra or somebody who is trying to weigh truth. For some of you, I see this is you, right? For a lot of you, in fact. Okay, a lot of air energy in your surroundings. A lot of air energy here. Libra and Aquarius energy. There's some truth which is inspiring you to dig deeper. That's what I heard the first thing. There is something around you which is inspiring you to weigh the truth, to look at the facts in a different light, make comparisons, make logical decisions, right? For some of you, there's a positivity around you which is telling you to just be, uh, you know, more inspired to look for the truth. I don't know what this truth is about, but there is something that is motivating you. And I see a beautiful light in the third, I'm sorry, at the third eye chakra here. Beautiful energy. So we will just see what is the situation about Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter, right? So let's see what is this week bringing for you. How is it starting and what stuff you can experience this week? I get a very positive vibe looking at these two cards. You're setting some rules, you're establishing some normal here. You're weighing the truth, looking at it clearly. And you're nurturing something, you're watering the plants here, right? There's something that you're sowing down and you're watering it. Beautiful energy to start with. So we have four of wands. I told you, I see the foundation here. Wow, okay. We have the ten of cups under the deck. I see somebody's taking a break. Planning not to work over something which is traditional or trivial, I heard, right? There's something which is uh, different for you. For some of you, I see there's a new foundation coming your way and you're deciding to just give up on your old pattern of work. Eight of Pentacles in reverse is something that is making me feel that you don't want to focus over something anymore because there is a new inspiration, new foundation here, right? Four of Wands. For some of you, this is a new relationship. For some of you, this this is surrounding your home, your house. And uh, for the rest of you, I see this is like bringing changes in your current foundation, your house, your some day-to-day -day thing here, which, which you think is your foundation, right? But there is a feeling that I'm not working over something. There's somebody in your surroundings, a specific person possibly. Maybe you are uh, weighing the things and you are maintaining a balance here. I see less investment on your part, honestly, because there is something fulfilling coming in. You can take it as self-love. You can take it as new love. You can take it as an opportunity that, that can fulfill you from within. But there is something new here being promised, right? And I see as you see this coming, you're not working over something, right? I don't know what's that. We're going to see, right? Wow. So we have Ten of Cups, Ace of Wands, Two of Cups, Ace of Swords. Wow, there, there are apologies too. There's somebody who sees you as emotional fulfillment and they have something to do here. We're going to see what's that, right? So as of now, I see that four of wands, you're feeling grounded, you're feeling stable. I see good partnership, relatively new. That's something I heard. For a lot of you, this is an energy where you are breaking down the structures. Don't serve you anymore. Justice. Establishing new normal here. Not working over trivial things. Working over something new. Ace of Cups. Amazing energy here. We have Page of Wands. Okay, Two of Pentacles and Page of Swords. Okay. Now what happens is, this week I'm picking up Aries that something new shows up page of wands strong energy of new 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 i see freshness in your energy i see totally complete completely changed aura right i heard alexa <laughs> i don't know if if it makes sense to you yeah honestly i i did hear alexa let me know in the comment section what what that means if if somebody um is connecting with that anyway coming back to your reading I see that there's a foundation 
establishing for you right the stability coming in your personal life in home life maybe where you work i see some celebration happening and you're not working over something trivial because there's something very beautiful and fresh being offered to you now this week you're going to be inspired to see the nitty-gritties of something right page of wands is showing me a beautiful energy where something new has to be explored again inspiration and inspiration the same vibe about something new about some new foundation for few of you i also heard graduation right so if somebody is planning to apply for graduation or somebody is getting graduated this year some celebration is coming in i'm just feeling and that's going to add on to the stability so that you don't have to work over something that is outdated yeah that's also something i heard I see that the moment this new inspiration comes in, the moment you think that I need to explore this new inspiration, for some of you, I see new dates, new love, honestly. Like, I, I can really try not to go just on the love side, as you guys complain, that don't just talk about love, see other things as well. I just can't avoid the cards, you know? But if it's not love, as that is clearly visible from the cards, there's some new inspiration. And I see the moment this conversation starts, the moment you start, I'm sorry, the moment you start to uh, explore this new inspiration, I see two of pentacles. There's some confusion, struggle or a pending decision comes in, right? I see you have to make a decision. So for some of you, I'm also feeling that uh, there is a decision to be made. Page of Swords is a logical decision making where you spy, you gather information, you look for clarity, dig deeper and then get something concrete. But there is still some skepticism where I don't know if I want to do that or not. I don't, if I don't know if I want to explore that or not. And another side of the coin is that you guys are inspired to take a dip into something not knowing about the other stuff i see this is coming from a very sandy background and this is coming from the very green background so the struggle is that uh do i have nothing to lose and get inspired to just you know uh explore this or i protect what i have and be skeptical it's you know it's like a conflict for some of you these are two different people one is skeptical because it has something to be skeptical about, to, you know, to distrust the outside thing. And the other is more inspired because it is coming from the rocky background. For some of you, I see two opportunities also, two love offers also, but they both are naive, honestly. I don't really see anything concrete. Rather, it's just a beginning of something, right? Now you're struggling here in the center of the reading. What should I do? Beautiful energy. Justice shows me that you need to hold your truth. Right, own your truth, I heard for somebody, right? Own your truth. So what's this? Ten of Swords, yeah. You any one thing. Oh my god, you're you're on your horse and nine of pentacles, beautiful energy, queen of pentacles energy here, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, possibly you're dealing with. Wow, very beautiful energy. Aries, I see that towards the end, there is a decision to conclude something, reaching conclusions. Ten of Swords is my reaching conclusions card because i feel that this energy uh is a feeling that i need to stop something that's weighing me down right there are so many new doors opening for you right but you still somehow in past continued to work over something that was redundant and ten of swords eight of pentacles reverse and ten of swords upright is showing me that now it's the time to end something which is redundant i know there's going to be skepticism on your mind but it's time to just work over something new. And Page of Wands is showing me that you are so excited to do that. And you can do that. Knight of Wands, leveling up on your horse. Let's do that, right? And for a lot of you, I see that's going to bring in a sense of independence and confidence in you. That you are going to just love it, right? You can be dealing with a Taurus Virgo Capricorn here. Somebody here feels abandoned. Okay, for someone, I also heard that your decision is going to bring upliftment in somebody's energy. Somebody was confused. I see this person tried offering you love, possibly. If it is if it is so, I see they were feeling abandoned, but your de decision is changing them too. From Five of Pentacles to Queen of Pentacles, there's an upliftment. For some of you, I see if there's some kind of struggle surrounding money. Maybe you're feeding too many things. Maybe you're feeding multiple directions or there are multiple priorities. I also heard kids. For some of you, if you have two kids, air and fire energy, you're struggling to 
you know manage the money here i heard and if it is not kids energy it can be your priorities one is your passion one is something you know you're skeptical about but you see the prospect there and you don't see the prospect here whatever it may be i see you ending one thing something is draining you of your resources and you're ending that thing you're on your horse this week and trust me you're moving towards confidence and stability wow that's the positivity we picked up in the big thing too, isn't it? So what is this new door opening for you, Aries? King of Wands, early. Wow. Okay, this can be a partner. This can be, again, new inspiration as we're talking about. This person is attracted to you. I see there's an energy of a possible par couple. Okay, this new door is opening. So, oh my God. Okay. For some of you, I see this person is bringing some new inspiration. This specific person has something to do with this new door opening in your life. And the moment it happens, I see some kind of replenishment happening. Emperor, Star, Justice, Ace of Cups. Somebody is coming in to fill your cup, Aries. I don't know what it means and how long it's, it's going to stay or how long it's going to take to come in. I see one month energy, but... Wow, for some of you, I see two doors, two people. One is definitely bringing replenishment in your energies and beautiful here. Justice, Ten of Swords. Yeah, some things have to be ended. Some records needed to be settled. So, right, that's something I'm feeling here. I see the Nine of Wands. I see you guarded to open up to the new doors opening in your life because there's something not letting you jump into that, right? For some of you, there is a person. I see a dependent family member or somebody who feels that they have a partnership here, right? Beautiful. Very interesting. Okay, let's move forward, ladies. Let us see what is this new confidence moon. Whoa. Oh my God. Oh my god, okay. Three of Pentacles under the deck. This it has to be worked out. It is going to get worked out. So I see there's going to be a disappointment for a moment because there's something that you're concluding this week. I'm quite sure, right? I don't know. It's a project. It's a work thing that you're not working over anymore or you're not focusing over anymore. There's something that's trivial, not giving you results anymore. But somehow you had attachment and that's why concluding this thing is hurtful. But my god, I did not see this coming. <laughs> there is partnership i don't know this is your current relationship or this can be something new popping up in your life with ace of cups four of wands but this is hot for some of you very few of you there's a connection getting concluded in your life and there's a new door opening now this is going to be really random to say but yeah this partnership is exciting i see you're going to feel the vibe you're going to feel that fire between you and this person right I, I do see a mix of a lot of things but i cannot deny that there is love in this whole scenario love is an important factor driving this new stability in your life right you're getting inspired to do all right to do new things because this love factor is there so let's see aries let us see what do you want to say, King of Wands? This person is bringing some new stability here, new partnership, new fire around you. So what do you want to say here? Oh, this is flirt. Oh my God. Okay, this person is passionate and they're bringing some kind of passion here, but there is a conflict starting. For some of you, your current connection. For some of you, I see right now, you are in a karmic relationship, if it is so. For very few of you, very specific. If you're experiencing a lot of conflicts in a karmic relationship, I see... There's some person who's flirty coming in, who's really bringing in romance and this fire for you. But there is a karmic partner who really wants to balance the energies and work on the connection. So I think you're going to find yourself in a, in a kind of soup. What to do, right? Because there's somebody who's flirting, very warm. I don't really see the flourish energy. But yes, their, their energy is a really, a lot of thoughts, passionate. So where is this thing heading? Oh my god, okay, union. Yes, I did see this coming. Express your love and divine timing, yes. So some things have to be released, Aries, because there's some beautiful union here. I might go on a date with this person. I see a good time spent together. Some expression of love and you can do this. Universe is helping you having this beautiful balance. Can you see this figure? One leg, standing on one leg maintaining a beautiful balance i see you can do this you can do you can do this and 
this energy is showing me that whatever beautiful union is coming your way it's time to embrace it two of cups ace of cups i see this person who's around you who's passionate about you is bringing that energy who's going to fill your cup and uh, wow i just don't have the words you're going to feel like the empress with this person around right but there is a karmic influence in your surroundings and i see for some of you, if you're stuck between a very attractive soulmate or a passionate connection and the karmic connection, which is constantly trying to work over the connection, but you feel you're somehow losing the hope, I see you will have to release the karmic influence. You at least have to try that because there's a beautiful union coming in, right? Wow, that's intense. Last but not the least, what? Okay, I, I, I leave this. I left this little guy here. So what do you need to hear, Aries? What do you need to hear? Love makes the difference. Love helps heal the past hurts and provide a sense of security and self-worth. So I see somebody, again, can you see that? Self-worth, Empress with the self-love, Ace of Cups energy. This person here is, is here to make the difference, Aries. And I think it's going to heal you. It's, it's going to help you heal the past and bring that security and self worth, right? Beautiful energy to, uh, you know, end with. <laughs> so, this is what I have for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.